Oh, what up, all? Welcome back to a Vintage Cuberton. It is Monday. Got two little fetchers and a Renin 6, which is kind of contradictory. Got a Mystic Forge, which is pretty good. It's kind of decent to build around. Gaia's Cradle and Dark Ritual, also great choices. Uh, kind of like Mystic Forge here. It commits us to no color. Battle Sphere could come back. <sighs> yeah, let's try Mystic Forge, I think. Artifacts do be powerful. First, oh, well, we're we'll definitely picking a Mana Drain here. That's a, that's a card, all right. If Walking Ballista comes back, that would be cool. Atali's pretty cool. Time Twister is something. Um, yeah, just take a manager in here. Uh, ordinarily, I wouldn't take Thran Dynamo, but I do like it with Mystic Forge. Also, lets you counter their two drop and play mana and play Thran Dynamo. So. Wow. Time Twister or Riot? Well, you enjoy the Riot then. My mouse is acting up. I don't know why. Well, we're definitely taking Thran Dynamo here. I'm uncomfortable with why it's doing this. It's really lagging, and it just started like one second ago. Oh. Okay, well, we're definitely taking Mox Opal here. In the artifact deck, that's just basically a regular mox. So these are pretty easy choices. Um, Thopter Foundry is cool, but it's not great unless you get sword. And I'd rather not jump into a second color here if I don't have to. Raise it. Oh, Kappa Cannoneer. Yeah, that's a that's a finisher for sure. That's that's a guy. That's a meatball. If Brazen Bar or Basalt Monolith come back, I'd be cool with that. Sky Sovereign is a colorless card. Hmm. I have to get up and try to check this mouse. I don't know why it's bugging out like this. Yeah, I guess it's just Sky Sovereign here. Like nothing else is great. I don't care about paradoxical outcome. Revoker is fine. Is Oracle any good here? Oracle might be worth it if we can get like Jace or Brainstorm. I don't know if that's going to be good enough here, but I think it's just better than having random Revoker. Oh, well, speak of the devil. <laughs> there is an Ugin, which is pretty sweet with our ramp, but it's not an artifact. I think we're just taking the Jace here. That's interesting. Maybe we're just going to try to self mill ourselves. Do we have to say ourselves if we're saying self-mill? I don't look like this is really. I don't like. I don't like what this mouse is doing. It just started doing this as soon as I started streaming. Oh, Battlesphere came back. Exactly. Wow, both fetch lands came back. That's insane. But we're taking the Battlesphere for sure. I'm not sure how much I'd want triple black doomsday in this deck especially with double blue double blue triple blue cards i mean you can de you can definitely tell that's why they added sunken ruins which is a good choice i'm also not smart enough to make doomsday work no don't give me that much credit don't you put that evil on me ricky bobby Oh, Walking Ballista came back. Wow. All right. So we basically got everything we wanted to come back. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess we'll just take Probe here. 
Crow is a respectable card. It's not one of my favorites, but people love it. I mean, this is looking pretty good for Mono Blue Artifacts. I'm okay with what we have so far. <sighs> we might, I, like, I can see us brain freezing ourselves. We have both Thassa's Oracle and Jace. Yeah, sealer removal is totally fine. Wow, basalt monolith came back. Yeah, let's take a basalt. Wow, paradoxical outcome came back too. Okay, so even the cards we were considering taking came back, which is great. Wow, basalt monolith is exciting. Did you know the only modern deck I have ever played in Attorney was Affinity? I did not know that. Yeah, I could see how people in here. Fourth Irolingus. Good grief. Well, I think we have to take Hull Breacher. This might be the first time I pass Fourth Irolingus. God, we have so much mana, though. But it's Hull Breacher. Oh, boy. Hmm. It's got to be Hullbreacher, right? This is just mono blue. Just just stay the course. Hangerback Walker or Karn will table and you'll get those. Just just stay the course. Man, that was that was tough. I'm going to put out, outcome in the sideboard. I'm not 100% on that guy. Oh man, Academy and Urza would both be very, very nice. We have two more. We have like two whole packs basically, so. There is a Flash. There's a Genesis engine, which I absolutely love, as you guys know. Dig Through Time. Dark Depths. I don't love Chrome Mox. Flash is interesting. We could just take Flash and just pick up some guys for it. I don't think it's Dark Depths. Well, World Spine's not in here anymore. And I definitely think if Gruff, Gruff Triplets comes back, we would take that. Yeah, I'm going to take the Flash. I think it's better than Dig Through Time. Like, this, the, the Mono Blue Artifacts deck is not a Dig Through Time deck because you, you have very few cards that are actually going to your graveyard. There's a subtlety, but I think we're just taking Phyrexian Metamorph. That guy is both an artifact and pretty good. What are you saying, Pentad Prism? I mean, Pentad Prism in a mono blue deck seems pretty bad. Not a fan. This is, these are all playables. We have two cards in our sideboard so far. Oh, Mox Diamond? <laughs> well then, sure, I'll take double Mox here. I would take Delta, but we're mono blue, so Mox Diamond's the way to go. Plus, they both fix, 
So, wow, that's pretty great. Hull Breacher also puts us in a position for uh, picking up like Echo Vions or Sail of the West or, you know, what have, what have you. Yeah, that was the two suggestions. I take it back. Thymus, I, I forgive you. Oh, Coveted Jewel. Interesting. Is that better than an Unctus? Probably. Draw three is pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take the Coveted Jewel. I've been impressed with its power. We also don't have a ton of blue creatures, or creatures in general. We have six creatures right now. Two of them cost six or more, so I'm going to take the Jewel. Seed Shark and Psy here. Wow, these are both very good. Um, I think it's actually Seed Shark. Seed Shark just makes much bigger guys. It's a bigger creature. It flies. Seed Shark's got to be better. Ancient Tomb. I also do like Teferi here, and I can consider splashing for white. We already have Mox Diamond and Mox Opal, but I think there's no incentive not to take an Ancient Tomb in a mono blue deck. <gasps> sort by... Oh, no, sort by casting ghost. Put the Tomb over here. Walking Ballista can be a two drop for now. Metamorph is a three. Oh, Odawara and Force of Negation and Shark Typhoon and Bolas' Citadel. Hmm, this is actually pretty good. I think it's Force of Negation here. Shark Typhoon's pretty good. It's just a win con as well. I think I just want to have more interaction though. I'll take a Force of Negation. I'm gonna take Sky Sovereign out for now. Probably Pro. I don't. I, I don't love Pro. Oh wow, Karn and Hangerback Walker came back. We're definitely taking Karn. That's pretty sweet. Well, sometimes you just know your lane, I guess. Genesis Engine came back. I'm gonna take the Genesis Engine. I think it's better than Dig Through Time, and if we do manage to get like a Tundra or a Fetch Land, I'll just splash it or like a Signet. We already have two Moxes and a, cur and a Coveted Jewel, so. Oh, Subtlety came back? And Tameshi. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This is, we'll just put the Genesis engine in the sideboard for now. This looks pretty sweet. Oh, Astral Dragon came back because of course it did. Tameshi is, you know, Tameshi is pretty good with Lotus. I have heard that as well. <laughs> I heard you actually don't need any lands at all if you're just gonna... You're just going to Tameshi Lotus. Yeah, I guess Unctus comes back, sure. Well, I guess we get both Psy and... Uh, what's the other dude? She Jark. So, you know. Tezzeret seems pretty good here. I don't hate Caracas. Uh, man, this feels like a Tezzeret deck for sure. We actually don't have a ton of artifacts. We have two Moxes, a Ballista, Basalt Monolith, Metamorph, Forge, and Thran Dynamo. Third Path Iconoclast is pretty decent. 
Might just take Caracas, actually. Caracas also helps us splash the Genesis engine. Yeah, let's take a Caracas. It just gives us a good reason to play a white. <sighs> there is a Brain Freeze and a Teferi. Trinket Mage gets one of our Moxes. Um... Not a big brain freeze fan. I'm just it's too big brain for me. I just like casting my spells. I could see just playing white and taking this Teferi. I just took the Teferi. Oh. Preordain seems great. Also, Thespian Stage, which is nice. There is Doomsday. <laughs> we could Doomsday. We can't Doomsday. Let's put these in the sideboard. Yeah, we're just taking Preordain here. Wow, that is an Emrakul. Good gravy. That's a that's a big boy. That's a big girl. Uh, I'm going to take the Counterspell for obvious reasons. Displacer Kitten. I do like Displacer Kitten with Coveted Jewel. It's also good with like Battle Sphere. Yeah, we're taking the Kitten here. Kitten is real good. Thieving Skydiver and Sheldock Isle? Man. All right, I think we're just gonna stick with Mono Blue here. This is still 20. We're just taking Sheldock. We have enough playables here. There's a Kaito, which we're not gonna play I don't think talisman is fine it's a white talisman I don't think we'll play it but it's a thing to have I don't think we're playing Kaito I can see cutting Oracle and Jace like this looks pretty wow that's a late channel <laughs> okay well there's a Zoranor, which I don't care about. Touch the Spirit Realm, which is nice. Brainstorm is fine, but we have no way to shuffle. Um, Talisman of Curiosity is an on-color Talisman. Yeah, I think we'll just take on-color Talisman here. <laughs> Titan, pivot hard. Yeah, solid strategy. Aetherflux Reservoir is nice, but we're not storming. Yeah, all right, so Tezzeret came back. Uh, Golos would be great if we had Academy, but we don't. Hmm. We'll just take Tezzeret, I guess. I don't think we're going to play Tezzeret. Trinket Mage came back. So did Ulamog. So we've had so many opportunities. Oh, we can also cut Flash. Trinket Mage just gets our Moxes right now. Oh, it gets a... No, it doesn't get Walking Ballista, does it? Yeah, I think it does. I'm getting Urza Saga and Trinket Mage confused. The problem with... with Tezzeret is that it just doesn't get much. It gets Basalt Monolith or Talisman or Moxes right now. You can get like Mystic Forger, but you just have to sacrifice the Tezzeret to do so, which is kind of obnoxious. Just remember what Ross said. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. WWRGD. No, it's not. It is It is RG, right? It's Ross. Is it Ross Geller? Are Ross and Monica brothers and sister, right? That's correct, right? They're both Gellers, right? God, it's been so long since I've seen Friends. I'm gonna. This is this is a an unreasonably late vampiric tutor. That's ridiculous. Hmm. 
No one deserves that. This is 23, and I'm pretty okay with this 23. And our sideboard's pretty wild. I could even see putting this Unctus in here. Let's take a growth chamber. Oh, memory jar. Interesting. That's a that's a 14th pick shallow grave, really? Could have taken the two drop, but I don't I don't think it's that exciting. We need one cut here. And I almost wouldn't even mind playing Unctus. Wow, they're really just trying to throw a reanimate deck at us. Vampiric Tutor, Shallow Grave, Putrid Imp at the last last like three picks. This is a 2-4 for 3. Other blue creatures have whenever this creature becomes tapped, draw a card. So, he's he's making all our guys looters. Ah, oh, yes. The old putrid shrimp. A classic. Yeah, let's take out Astral Dragon. You're not very Gucci. I don't, I don't actually like Memory Jar that much here. Like, we're not storming, so there's, like, very few ways to really take advantage of it. I do kind of like this. I think Psy is decent, but I don't think it's better than anything else we have here. Sheldock, Caracas, Ancient Tomb, and then we'll just play 14 Islands. That seems pretty good. I wonder, like, you don't want, actually, you don't want fewer lands with Mox Diamond, because then you get hands where it's, like, land Mox Diamond, and you're like, okay, well, that's not very good. Yeah, this seems pretty cool. I mean, the problem with Psy is it only, it only counts when you cast an artifact, and we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like, nine artifacts, many of which are going to come down before Psy comes out. Like, it's just, like, we're probably going to get, like, two Thopter tokens. If, if it triggered, that's why I actually don't like Psy that much. If it triggered whenever an artifact under the battlefield, I think that'd be sweet. Like, whenever... But then it would, like, trigger itself. So you'd have to find a way to work that. Like, whenever a non-token artifact enters the battlefield. Even then, though, it's kind of like... Because, like, I would love to make a Karn construct and then just also get a 1-1, one -one, but... But it's like, it, the problem is like, you're just not casting very many artifacts. Like even Tinker, it's like, you're not casting it, you're putting it into play. But anyway, this deck seems reasonable. I would have loved to see... I, this Jace might be still decent. I mean, Mystic Forge is kind of like a Planeswalker. Actually, this doesn't even feel Mystic Forgey enough anymore. Casting artifact spells, like, just there's not enough. I'd probably rather just have Jace instead of Mystic Forge. And I'd honestly rather have Genesis Engine instead of either of them, to be quite honest. Weird, we first picked Mystic Forge and it went into, like, an art artifact archetype, but... This card's just so good. <laughs> Just draw two, discard one, sure. Plus you got a guy, like, I, I don't know, man. It just keeps, like, it just keeps going. It's like a, it's like a questing beast of spells, you know? <sighs> right now we have three white sources, correct? And coveted jewel. I mean, what do we cut? Like, we can cut, like, two three, two islands, maybe. But then I'd also be tempted to play Jace. Or not Jace, Tefri, rather. So what is this? This is one, two, three, four, five white sources for, like, one white card. I do wish this was a white-blue signet talisman.
very tempted to play this Tefri as well. <laughs> thank you. I said thank you as if you guys said bless you, but that's not what happened. So this guy can probably go here. Maybe just cut Seal of Removal. Like, Teferi's got to be better than Seal of Removal, right? I'll do one more. Like, we don't have Cryptic Command in here. This is four white sources in the mana base, plus two moxes. God, is the mox opal even playable anymore? Fuck. Oh, I sneeze literally every time I draft. Um, oh my god, I'm tempted to cut these two now. Like, what if, like, I don't know if Trinket Mage is actually doing as well. Like, again, like, we just don't have enough artifacts. I might be tempted to just throw a second Talisman in here, because we have a lot of four drops, and this one's a white. And then maybe a Jace. Like Talisman and Jace. Or we can bring in Seal back. This is actually funny because there's actually more considerations than I thought there'd be. Uh, high end we have Walking Ballista, Mirror Battle Sphere, Kappa Cannoneer, Coveted Jewel. I mean, you're looking at it. It's all on screen. It's all on screen. I don't actually love Astral Dragon. Maybe it's fine. Thank you. It is 10 power. Ermanigan, thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I mean, what do I cut for it, though? Maybe Unctus now? Maybe Unctus isn't as good? All right. Yeah, let's do that then. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't, like... The problem is I'm not considering, like, anything over, like, four mana in Artifact. Because the only reason it's relevant is for, like, Mox Opal. Like, if I'm counting Mere Battlesphere and Coveted Jewel and Kappa Cannoneer and Sharakai Genesis Engine for Mox Opal, like, it's not going to matter because, like, I'm going to have seven mana by that point. So, like, it, the only things that matter for, like, cards like Mox Opal or Unctus are cards that cost, like, three or less. And in that situation, I need, like... Three of one, two, three, four, five artifacts. Three of five to make Mox Opal. Two of five to make Mox Opal live. Like, it just seems like it's not good enough. And, like, what's the goal of Mystic Forge? To, to just cast a card off the top of your library each turn, right? But, like, I mean, Jace just draws us an extra card, so it's fine. Like, I don't know. It seems like a reasonable replacement. I don't know if this is correct. This deck felt like it was actually quite complicated, Looks like somebody's got the kitten jewel fever. Is that what they're calling it these days? That's what the kids are calling it. My feet are cold. You might say I have cold feet. All right, let's do it. See, this is what I was afraid of, the one land Mox Diamond. We're going to keep it because we have Preordain. So if there's like two islands on top, it's actually pretty decent. Oh, wow. They're, get, they're moving. There's one island. We could just pitch it. Yeah, let's just do this. All right. 
We do have subtlety if we need to do some some shenanigans here. Oh, tapped land, eh? All right, Ed. If we get a blue source, we can just play Jace. I do like that. That's not a Jace. So let's go look for a little Landorino. And then do nothing. That's sad. That's really sad. Well, we're going to bottom both of these. And whiff. Fantastic. <laughs> what? Come on, dude. Seriously? Jesus. 15 lands still in the deck. Oh, boy. Was, oh, they changed their mind. They're like, you know what? I'm going to attack first. That's what the pros would do. The pros at AutoZone. <laughs> That's not nice. Yeah, definitely doing this, I guess. Land? Basalt Monolith. Well, at least when they play Lauren now. Yeah. Sure. So at least I get to keep my three, I guess. <laughs> you know, I got that going for me. Okay, well, in theory, they play a five drop. That would be great. And then I get to counter it and get eight mana and play two Planeswalkers, right? Right. You're gonna play nothing. Okay. Oh, we're at my draw step? All right, sure. That actually works. Huh. Wow, that works surprisingly well. No attacks and no plays. I like it. Thrand Dynamo and Walking Blister. They will give me the Dynamo, which is another four drop in a long line of four drops. Fantastic. Okay. I don't, I don't understand. Where are my lands? Uh, still nothing from them either, so I don't know what's going on. That's still not a land. You're gonna do something again in my draw step? No, okay. Hey, look at that. We had two lands and they had to give me one. Beautiful. So we could just play Dynamo, but into nothing, unfortunately. I'm sure they have counter spells aplenty. So maybe we should just run Dynamo out there as like a, a little Beatty McBaderson. They're like, ooh, that's a lot of mana. Maybe I'll counter it. <laughs> no, they chose not to. All right, N. Sure, you got it. Oh, 
Hard cast gush. What is this deck? Upkeep. I'm like, wow, they, they're just tapping two planes in their upkeep. Big Teferi. You got it. Sure. Alrighty then. Sheldock, huh? And they still have two mana up. Would you look at that? So let's go get Walking Ballista. Choose an exiled Walking Brolista. Two, three, four. Of course, you have a counter spell. Actual counter spell. Fantastic. The only thing we can play is Teferi here. We can bounce the Lauren, but then they just get to recast it. I think we're just... Oh, why didn't we play Teferi first? Wouldn't that have been cool? Didn't even consider it. Like, it did... Like, because that wasn't my plan. My plan was to Walking Ballista, see what we can kill, and then go from there. But, yeah, I mean, but then they counter Teferi, which is probably still better. Because Walking Ballista killing both Lauren and Teferi is insane. Yeah, I mean, that was just kind of hilarious. No, I definitely don't. I'm just like, I'm just kind of tilted from this game because we're so far behind. Yep. Sure. I mean, we didn't hit a fourth land for 17 turns, so, you know, not great. Sky Sovereign actually seems decent here. Of course, they're playing main deck Lauren and multiple counter spells. Psy, Psy doesn't do anything. What does Psy do? I actually actively dislike Psy in this queue. Psy is definitely not pressure. We have to cast Psy, which is a 1-4, and then any artifact makes a 1-1. One, one. I'm definitely not seeing that as very pressuring. Like, just the, the problem is like, again, it's a situation where like, this guy comes down on three, so all of your high impact cards are making one single one, one. It just doesn't do much. It's a one, four. I mean, like if he had evasion, like Chroma seed shark is just so much better. It triggers on all of your non token or your non non creature spells and the creatures scale. Like if I play a Thran dynamo with Psy, I get a one, one. If I play with seed shark, I get a four, four. Like it just seems it's plus is a two, four flyer. This is a one, four grounder. Take out Dragon here. Actually, Dragon seems decent, I guess. Whatever. I'm going to play 41 here. It's nothing I'm thrilled about cutting. Beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous. And I like that this is the blue talisman so that we can actually cast this Jace. Sick crab. Pretty 
pretty sure we're just going to play Talisman here. I don't have a reason to... Uh, I'm not super excited about countering another 2-drop. Oh, boy. Well, we saw a basic counterspell and... Yep, of course they have another counter spell. Wow, fucking amazing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, God. What is this deck, man? Wonderful. Yeah, great. I want to bottom one, I'll top the other. I'll just play an island. The problem is with Coveted Jewel, even the crab counts as an attacker that goes unblocked. Great. Maybe I should have just kept both islands. I don't know. How would I have fought for Jace? You cannot force. Force only works if it's not your turn. That is not how force of negation works. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just take Counterspell among these multiple lands. I mean, even without glasses, this is not Force of Will art. Those are two very different artworks. Oh, a Battle Sphere, huh? Well. I guess their deck is f a little more controlling than we expected it to be. I mean, I really don't want to play this and take down counter spells now that they have like seven mana. Like, that's a bit. What is. Sure. Hmm. That's a gentleman. I mean, I could manage during this and then during my next main phase, right? I think your next main phase, I get two mana, which does nothing. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's not worth fighting over that guy. <laughs> What's even worth fighting for? Yeah. Not wrong. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, can't cast that guy. All right, we're just passing here again. Like the problem is if we if we play Skyship to just kill a one one with no way to crew it, and then they untap and play Teferi, like it's just terrible for us. If I can get a white source, that would be great. <laughs> My own walking ballista. Without a sixth land. <laughs> that just dies to their walking ballista. Oh, Lord. Like, I, I don't understand, like, how we, we only hit four lands in 17 cards. Like, it's... Oh, I guess we hit Caracas. I mean, it's a lot easier to play things like Coveted Jewel if you have Mana Drain up, or like Sky Ship if you have Mana Drain up, or Counter Spell. Like, I have multiple counters, but I just can't cast anything to back them up. <sighs> oh, we did see three on Sheldock. Yeah, that's a good point. So there's like four on the bottom of the library. Five, six, seven, eight. So this still leaves nine lands. Nine lands and 19 cards. That's, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to play this just so you guys can... It doesn't even do anything now. They just pump this guy twice. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they don't have enough for it now. So this is like, yeah, this is the moment. And I just don't feel great about it. Yep, there we go. Little <laughs> oh, miscalculation, you. Yeah. Oh, okay, just Snapcaster Days. Got it. Fantastic. Yep, great. I'm having fun. Yep, I'm just going to concede this game. Like, it's just not fun. All right, let's see if this goes any better. Hand looks good. Agree completely. Like, missing land drops is so pivotal. Like, it's, like, not even... Like, when your opponent has eight mana and counter spells, and you have five mana and counter spells, and they can land their threats while backing them up, and you can't. Like, that's just everything. Uh, bottom battle sphere. I'll keep subtlety. In case we really need to do the deed. Why don't all my opponents have a stop on my draw step? Like, come on. Let me draw my cards, bro. Do I care about whatever they play on turn two? Probably not. I'm going to say no. Because I took too long. If I untap my land, it's super obvious. I'm going to let them play a guy, and then we can manage rain it. 
Let me play a big walking ballista. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it. Oh, Lord. Okay, now we got now we got black mana. Like I wouldn't have managed rain to this. This is unbelievable. We didn't even take the doomsday, did we? We don't even have doomsday. Not like I would side it in if we did. Yeah, great. All right, so two lands again. <laughs> this is just like, uh, I mean, I get the deck has kind of identity issues where it's not sure if it wants to be an artifact deck or like a, a mono blue control deck, but it's not doing either of those terribly if we can get land. Like if I can hit a third land and just play Basalt Monolith into like Genesis Engine or Jace or something, like that's not terrible. Or untap with six to Walking Blade. Like there's things we can do. But just like, land, okay, we did it. Oh God. We did the thing, the thing being playing a spell and uh, drawing a land. Perfect. <laughs> The thing has been undone. <laughs> I am dead inside. I am dead inside. Great. A fourth land. Now that's something I can get behind. You know, it, it makes a lot of sense that like we would play against the Terra Sunder Reclamation Sage, Inquisition of Kozilek deck. That really checks out, I think. Unlicensed hearse. Sure. Let's be honest. I'm just going to shoot this guy anyway because I don't want them to have blockers. You got it. Land? Oh, get over. I mean, I guess we mill them. Like, I don't see a benefit to milling ourselves. Great. So they can attack Jace for two. We could subtlety, but next turn we just get to play Genesis Engine if we survive. Liliana. Okay. Uh, 
They have one card in hand. Yeah, I was like, are you going to activate Liliana with one card in hand? I guess not. There is an island here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Dothy Voidwalker, Horizon Canopy. Force of Negation, not terrible. We could actually just keep up Subtlety to start attacking the Liliana. I think I kind of like that. So, we'll still play Talisman and just keep up Subtlety here. What are the modes that they're choosing? Oh, they're just choosing an instant or sorcery from our hand? Well, sure, that's fine. I can Force of Negation this, but then I can't take Subtlety, so they're gonna get Force of Negation. And then I can't cast Subtlety, so they're gonna get Force of Negation either way. I actually feel like we're doing a little bit better here. Stabilty. <laughs> don't don't call him Stabilty. What are they doing? What's going on? What's the hold up? I don't know what's going on. They're really taking their time here. They have one card, three mana. They can't crew this. They can they are they are they just trying to decide whether to discard their last card? Because I'll pitch a coveted well, maybe coveted jewel is actually M MVP here. They don't have any creatures that can attack. I guess this guy can attack. But drawing three is big game, man. You ever drawn three before? Fuck, it's like it's unbelievable. I mean, we're just we're just slamming down a stability at the end of this turn. Why is the hearse still on license? They've had plenty of time to file the proper paperwork. I agree. You're just being reckless now. So did you get to kill? Kill the Lil. The nice thing about Jace is that there's very few decisions. You just target your opponent and you draw a card. That's it. This Liliana did nothing. What is a food that most people think is gross but you love? Um, I actually like pickled beets. Like that you get it like a salad bar. I think they're great. I like the texture. I like the sweetness. Like I think they're really good. I'm sure there's other stuff. I eat a bunch of weird shit that Katie does that thinks is weird. Um, I like the cowtails candies that are just like the caramel with the cream inside. All beets are dirt chill. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this is good. Cowtails and beets are just like literally normal shit, I guess. This doesn't do anything. That's just a... That's just a normal lady.
They should probably start exiling their own graveyard, right? There. No, wait. What? Mm, that's fine. Did you... Let me tell you about our Lord and Savior, Genesis Engine. He make a the creatures. What are we pitching here? Probably Sheldock at this point. And then we do with the chump, huh? Sure. Subtlety is a 1-1. One, one. So five, six, seven, we can play Coveted Jewel, then play Metamorph for four. I guess we'll just do this again. Yeah, Katie says I like a bunch of weird grandpa candies. I also had a container of root beer candies in my, in our pantry. <laughs> Not in our pantry. I had like a little, a little, like like a little candy jar on our, on our kitchen counter, and it had root beer candies in it. Um, I'm really tempted to covet a jewel and try to do this hull breacher nonsense that we were talking about. Okay, all of these cards add blue. I oh no, that's not what we want. Jeez, Louise. I just don't want, I don't want to choose anymore. So now we can also activate this guy and Hull Breacher. That seems, that seems legit. All right. Uh, Nil wafers are fine both in banana pudding and dry. I think they're great. They're coming after that jizz ace. You guys ever call them jizz ace? All right, how does this work? This triggers, right? Wait, what? Oh, attacks you and aren't blocked. Oh, oh, that's great. <laughs> that's, that's really, that's great. Man, that's great. I just thought they would have attacked me. That just seemed smart. I guess they didn't want this guy to ultimate, but come on, man. You could have drawn three cards. Oh, look at that. You got nothing. You got nothing out of it. Oh, boy. The ultimate says draw seven cards, and if your library has no cards in it, you win the game. So no, at 15 cards, that does not that does not win the game. Let's play this. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Yeah, we didn't activate Genesis Engine. I, I did forget, but I also didn't think it was super relevant either. I do wish I had a Time Walk or a Time Warp here. Uh, three. F we don't have... Yeah, I guess we can cast a Karn, right? So we can go Karn. One, two, three, four. Blink the Jewel. The Big Jewel. Oh, we can bounce Massacre Girl. That's pretty cool. 
well, not this turn, I guess. Did I play planes? Wow, I played them. I played Hook the Captain. I had no idea I did that. That's insane. I didn't know you could play your opponent's cards. Or your opponent, rather. Yeah, I'll make a guy here. Um, did this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Eight mana if we play land. We could, I mean, Bouncing Massacre all seems pretty, pretty good. Do we play a land? It didn't say we played a land. Look, turn nine. I put a counter on Jace. I activated Jace. I milled Gristlebrand and Grief. I drew a card with Jace. I played them. Maybe that's a Plains. I cast Frank Lepore. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this chat? I thought I did too. That's why I was checking the record. Hold on. What? Wow, I played myself and my opponent. That's insane. Look at that. Okay, so anyway. Um, no Caracas. One, two, three. So we're just going to go four, five. I guess we're just playing Cannoneer here because it's just big. I mean, that seems fine. It's not my first time, but it has been a while. Okay, so they can't draw from that. They can attack, but we have plenty of blockers. I'm pretty sure they're dead. What? <laughs> the hull breacher is still in play. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, because the treasure token. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow. Why would you do that? Yeah, so yeah, it says you've you played hook the captain but you cast myself. So that that entry was the land. <laughs> Interestingly enough. What are they doing? All right, let's. This is, this is a this is a task here. All right. Um, seal of removal seems fine. The, yeah, the key was up until Friday. So the twenty sixth, I guess. Uh, five days and one hour. Is that, is that Saturday? That might be Saturday. Five days would be what? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Doesn't say the date, right? No, it just says five days. But five days from now would be Saturday. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean... Sky Sovereign's decent. The only thing we saw like was Rex Age and... Massacre Girl. They also have Grief and Gristlebrand in the graveyard, so that was interesting. I don't think we have any great 
graveyard answers. Grantsers, if you will. I'm just going to play it like this. Although Hullbreacher is pretty good against a Grissy Brissy. That's so funny that you just wanted to do more cons drafts. Like, I love cons as well. I have a a, a good record in, in some cons limited. But, dude, I, I don't get the same enjoyment out of limited, regular limited magic as I do of Cube. Cube feels like I'm playing, like, an actual complex, powerful format. And any regular set draft just feels like I'm playing, like, 2-2, two, 2-3, two. Two, 2-1. It just feels like I'm playing these extremely underpowered cards. I don't know. I appreciate the velocity in the words of Mike Flores. It, it, velocity is a term in magic where it means like cards quickly go through zones. So if a deck has a lot of velocity, it has a lot of cantrips, it has a lot of interaction, you're hitting things, you're looking at cards, you're putting cards in the bottom of the library, the graveyard. So like... I like cards that I like sets that do that and formats that do that because I think that's the most fun way to play magic. Yeah, it's also the thing is like in in cube, if someone plays a haymaker, you can also play a haymaker. Like your your responses are much more appropriate. Whereas like in limited, in like a regular limited set, if someone plays a haymaker, you're just like, all right, well, I don't have a six mana removal spell, so I guess I die. Like it's just, there's a lot less, um, I kind of want to say outplaying, I think. And and in the format in the in the in the places where you can't outplay someone in Vintage Cube, the matches are over very quick, right? Like if your opponent goes Forest Channel Emrakul on turn two, it's like, okay, go to the next game. I'm done. It's very quick. You don't have to sit around and waste time. I think it's just Dynamo here. Into, into Basalt Monolith? Yeah, let's do that, sure. And the reason is like, because, because a cube is obviously way more curated, right? Like you're making it the experience you want it to be. Whereas a set has to be more fleshed out. It has to have a certain number of uncommons, a certain number of rares, a certain number of mythics, certain number of creatures. Armograph is, is a sad little one too. <laughs> oh, you little rascal. Man, my feet are still shivering, bro. They have missed two land drops so far. This game is not... Are they going to Imperial Seal for a land, do you think? Oh yes, I saw the yes, we saw I saw the tweet. <laughs> Whereas like Tarmogov is six dollars, the Fable of the Mirror Breaker Goblin token is worth like seven. So let's just play this guy here. We saved Talisman because I want to be able to blink this something. I do remember when Goyf was an exorbitant cost. It was like $75 at certain points. Like Goyf has had an insane price history. Oh, you mean like when I bought mine? Yeah, dude. I mean, like I've gone through several, several Goyf iterations.
Wow, a goy for a trop. That's that's a that's a good that's a trade that holds up for sure. That turned out well. They did play a land. Look at that. Look at all our lands. Boy, oh boy. Do I attack? Do they have an instant speed creature? Uh, I have my doubts. Yeah, man, a foil goif at some point was like 400 bucks. Like, that's no joke. Oh, you're letting me draw, too. Okay, well. I guess. Yeah, this is making up for round one, I think. Yeah, Pascal Maynard was the guy who took the uh, the foil goif. And I don't even blame him. Like, it's $400. Sorry, dude. I'm here to... I'm here to win. <laughs> and this is a win. Man, Goyf can't even crew that guy yet. He doesn't even have his pilot's license. <sighs> Stupid the fucking game. And there's no point to not play Talisman now, I guess. Yeah, this goif is just chipping away. We have a 12 total mana. Yeah, I do remember him selling it and donating most of the proceeds to charity. Don't be a land. It's only barely a land, I guess. Oh boy. Uh it's gotta be Battle Sphere here, especially with Frexian Metamorph, right? Posty's probably got it now. <laughs> yeah, Posty has all the good magic things. That guy's pretty Gucci. I'm trying to think of what can get us out of this because we have four more cards to go before we hit Shell Dock. Three after we draw. Jace, Jace would help if we mill ourselves. Coveted Jewel is nice. Yeah, and especially because we can put a bunch of tokens into play. Yeah, Coveted Jewel's good. Jace is good. Oh, they didn't crew. That's nice. Wow. Okay, lucky us, I guess. Yeah, I agree. When when Post bought the One Ring, I was like, that's great, because now some idiot's not going to play, like, flip it or rip it with it, and that's nice. So, at least I know it's with someone who, like, actually genuinely appreciates it. Give me that jewel. Force of Negation, huh? Well, I think we just metamorph this guy. Because I don't want this guy to flip. So... Two, three, four. And we'll get your Terra Sunder out, so now you're only sorceries. Could have kept Imperial Seal, so that way, we, or uh, could have kept Terra Sunder, so that way when we force, it's still a two, three, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal.
I did see I did see a post where someone ripped a serialized godless shrine, and it's just like, look, man, like here's so here's my stance on it. Like it's fine to do whatever you want with your possessions. Totally allowed. You can do it. If I have a five hundred dollar bill, that's not a thing. But if I have a five hundred dollar bill and I want to rip it in a half. It is my right to do so. It is your right to do so. You can do whatever you want with your possessions. That does not change the fact that I'm going to think you're an idiot because you could easily donate that to charity, to someone who needs it. You can literally give a homeless person that's 20 feet away from you several hotel nights. Like, I mean, it's like there's just better things to do. And while you're free to do it, I am going to judge the way you're spending your resources because it's just, there's so many better ways to do it. And that's just my opinion. (laughs) Just around government property. Huh? Oh no. We found the narc. Sometimes you just gotta break a five hundred, though. Yeah, that's true. Do you guys do you guys have change for a five hundred? Now they're crewing. I want to see if there's any prices for Godless Shrine on TCG Player. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, like the lowest price is 500 bucks. Like, that's what I mean. That's an insane amount of money. Like, that's life-changing for someone. That's someone's entire rent. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, dude. Like, if I have the chance to, like, flip it and rip it in the magic store or, like, give someone amount an amount of money that would literally change their 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 life for a month like i'd rather lean towards the second one i guess i mean we have a we have a home that we're renting with the three of us and it's uh, like we each pay like $800 each so it's like Yeah, 500 is what, like, I think that's what a lot of people can pay because of sharing. Like, what is this? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Boop, 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 boop. I have no idea. This is a 6, 6. Let's eat that. Shrink the Goiferson. My my land only has some surrounding goblet shrines. It's super inconvenient. Yeah, see? Someone deprived you of one month's rent. You know, they didn't deprive you of it because it's not yours, right? I want to be careful with my words here. Like, you didn't own it. You didn't, like... It wasn't your right to have it, right? Like, it, it's their right to do whatever they want with it. It is. It's their property. They can do what they want with it. But I think that's where the distinction comes in, like between someone who has character and someone who just wants to watch the world burn. Like, that's kind of how I feel. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not doing this anymore. Okay. Well, I forgot about the ward, so that was sad. I was very distracted. (laughs) Right? It's gambling, but you literally only lose. (laughs) That's actually hilarious. Wow. Okay, let's hit this guy. Because it's like, I'm going to buy this pack and then I'm going to flip it or rip it. And then it's like, but it's already yours. You own the pack already. That's actually hilarious. (sighs) 
like, oh man. It reminds me of like back in the like 2000s where the kids would like do whippets with with whipped cream containers. And you're like, yeah, man, I guess you could do this. And it probably does give you like, you know, a limited high. But like really, should you? Are we really going to just lose because they got Heart of Kieran and we just drew nonstop lands? This is, this is in insane. This guy can't even flip. Their guy can flip. Our guy can't flip. Okay, yeah, people still do whippets. I'm sure they do, but you don't hear about it as much anymore. Like, no one's talking about whippets. Like, so it's like I'm on the 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 whippet subreddit, and I know all about the kids who do the whippets. I can document. I have I have a monthly statistic on how many whippets are done in the United States. <sighs> Good times. <laughs> I think Sovereign can come in now. It's just like, what a match, man. That was, how many lands did we draw versus spells? That's hilarious. That <laughs> sounds, yeah. I was trying to do my best Stuart impression. I hope I, I hope I nailed it. This deck was not meant to succeed. Oh, it's just... All right. If we hit a land, it's good. And they don't have either Tear Asunder or... Tear Asunder, is that what's called? Or Rex Age? Like, just put seven drop back. I'm not going to go to five here, so... Still got two lands. They would play flip it or rip it with their kidneys, yeah. And if you lose, you have to literally slice open the other person's stomach and rip their kidney in half. It was fucking cutthroat. Land? Just a land. Come on. Don't. What? Just. Come on. Just hit okay. You have one green. There's nothing you can do here. If you flip your kidney, I'm pretty sure you die. Oh, God. I mean, I have an upkeep stop, but I'm pretty quick with it. I don't just let them sit there and do whatever. Oh, God. Interesting discussion. Yeah, it's good times. Oh, yes, we did it. Bazinga. Um, they could have Baleful Mastery. I'm just going to... Just going to plus Jace to draw. The odds of them having Baleful Mastery... They're probably just going to tear asunder this Mox, I would imagine. Is it tear asunder? Is that what it's called? Tear away? Tear anew? What the hell is that card called? It was tear asunder? Nailed it. This was not a down tick. This was a this is deliberate. I wanted to draw a card. Why does all the creatures have ward? I don't understand all the ward. There's so many wards. Displacer kitty cat. Well, biscuits. That guy is a one one. I think we just play the cat here. Right. We could play Walking Ballista and either block or shoot. Not shoot. Hmm. 
Magic's like, you want to kill that thing? Too bad. Pay more. Yeah, they stuck Ward on all the threats. I don't understand. You want to shock me? It's going to cost you. Wow. Oh, and you're going to look at my little grip? Okay. They have three minutes on the clock. We have eight. What's going on? I can't shoot this guy, right? No. But Teferi does live, so that's a thing, I guess. What is the Seachrome Coast and Shattered Sanctum? What is going on with these lands? We didn't see any of these in two matches, two games so far. Wait, what? They only did one mode? How did this Imperial still get in the graveyard? Did they cast it? No, they targeted, they cast this targeting me and Walking Ballista. They discarded Imperial Seal, those two modes. Come on, Triple M. Guess we'll play this guy. Being able to blink Teferi off of a Basalt Monolith seems good. I heard a rumor they did two modes. Yeah, I heard they did two modes uh, behind the a and W. It was filthy. Hmm. Metamorph is pretty good. So... I think being able to metamorph copying the One Ring is stronger than keeping Teferi around. Yeah, this seems fine. Also, we can Basalt Monolith and keep blinking. Oh yeah, do it during my turn. Perfect, perfect during my draw step. I love it. Just in case I drew Hallbreacher. <laughs> okay, let's go to... This lets us keep up a counter spell. We did not draw a counter spell. That's okay. Hey, that's okay. I'm gonna hit him anyway. Ugh. I love a good attack when they have uh, protection from the one ring. Makes you feel good, you know? Makes you feel powerful. This guy's a 5-6? Woo, we got Creature, Planeswalker, Artifact, Land, and Sorcery. I mean, they have to win in a minute and 43 seconds, so. do 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 I'm loving it. Okay, Preordain, Subtlety, Lando, Lando Calrissian. So Preordain gets to blink the One Ring, which lets us draw another card and kind of reset it. That seems good. Two islands, huh? I'm gonna bottom both. That's good. One, two, and then we have three mana. Hmm.
Oh, I like a seed shark here. All right, let's do that. Oh, they didn't actually use the hearse, which is interesting. I guess they want to keep Goyf as big as he is, but you could have taken a sorcery. I guess you can only take it from yours, but eh, it's... Rex Sage. Sure. <sighs> oh, they just didn't attack either? This is all very interesting. Play a land. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Coveted Jewel into Dynamo. No. Well. Hmm. Whatever. We're not here to be cowards, right? Make a 6-6. Six, six. Blink. The ring. Could have also blinked the talisman just to play Thran Dynamo. That might have been better. Sure. Great. Hmm. Let's copy this guy and kill your hearse. Yes. Draw three. Oh, a mana drain, eh? Let's go three blue. The salt monolith. Blink this. So now we have six mana. I think we're probably just going to pass here. With six mana up. Mm, yeah, this is fine. I don't really care what they do. One, two, three, uh, four. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we can also tap both of these to make guys. Liliana, that's actually perfect. Um, it's blue. Uh, I guess we're just blinking the jewel. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You got it. And we still get to keep up Force of Negation and Mana Drain thanks to the Coveted Jewel. Wow, the, the, the kitten just replaces the Coveted Jewel mana. Actually, that's a great idea. Magic Marker Studios. I really like that idea. I do like doing more like live form cube content. Uh, flip this guy, I guess, right? Okay, we just win. That was, man. Displacer Kitten and Coveted Jewel is insane. That's a hell of an interaction, man. I'm starting to think this deck is not very good. And I, I don't like it, but we're going to play it out. You guys get to see all the frustrating moments from the lack of lands to the, the flood of lands.
from sea to shining land not found. <laughs> oh. All right. I will play first. I don't hate it. This is a perfect Mox Diamond hand. Mox Diamond hands, that's what they call me. Uh, bought them both. Shelly McDockerson. Well, we also have two talismans that we can come close to, which makes this Genesis engine on three much better. So talisman, talisman, diamond. Coveted jewel. Sounds good. Well, there is a talisman. Is it just battle sphere or is it displacer kitten here? It might be kitten here. You know what? We got the jewel. We're putting the kitten underneath. Yeah, you know what? I really liked making those mail videos too, but they just like it just they weren't getting views. Like, I don't know. It's weird. I feel like that's a super popular topic on YouTube and like it just wasn't it wasn't getting there. I don't know. You got to be kidding me. Terrible. Just terrible. Ancient Tomb. How much mana? Is eight mana. So we can make this guy a 4-4. Four, four. That doesn't seem super exciting for the amount of mana we're spending. We could play Genesis Engine. Keep up a non Basalt Monolith mana. And then just block here. I don't hate that. All right. And then next turn, we're going to really try to, like, do something, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. We have eight, well, then nine mana next turn. Yeah, that's fine. That might be, I mean, like, honestly, I, the YouTube algorithm is a goddamn mystery. Like my YouTube subs and views have been like a stagnant topic for absolute years. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. One, two, one, two, three, four, 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 four. Do we have three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would really like to keep up counter spell, but I don't think we have the luxury to do that. Oh, they didn't pump their figure in response. That's interesting. Mm, okay. I mean, that was a good deal. Adeline's a hell of a card, man. Next turn, we can play Jewel and then play Kitten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. 
Problem is, Ancient Tomb's kind of doing a number on us. They're really making it easy on the discards here. Uh, block you. Block you. Get to keep the old Ballista alive. Sounds good. Sure. That is good against our counter spell. That doesn't really matter. Hmm. Fascinating. All right. Well, mana drain <laughs> with the Teferi on board, huh? Okay. Well, oh god, we can't even shell dock because of Teferi. That's really obnoxious. Wow, that's bad. One, two, three, four, five. We can put a counter on here. Our whole hand is like nothing because of Teferi. That's hilarious. I mean, we can play Jewel. What does that do? I was actually tempted to start a, check, a second channel. It's just, I think it's hard to do from, from scratch. Not to say it's not worth doing, but it's definitely like, I, I was I was daunted by the prospect of starting from, from nothing. <sighs> wow, Teferi was really good there. It just shuts off everything. It shuts off Displacer Kitten, Counterspell, Mana Drain. Like right now we can go block, block, shoot, shoot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think three mana Teferi is that egregious. It's good. Do we play land? We did, right? We played an island, I'm sure. I mean, I think I just want the Dynamo here. So we got three, four, five. We could just take two more, but I don't love the idea of that. I like just untapping Basalt Monolith here. We could also just take two and block the Adeline. Take three, I guess. Oh my god, drawing him with an uptick would be insane. <laughs> Plus one, draw a card of Teferi. Uh, it's, the, it's the Oracle text. They are added it. Totally normal. Yep. Sounds good. Well, I wanted to keep walking Blista alive, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Yeah, that makes sense. Confusing him with the five mana Teferi is reasonable. Oh, what we could have done actually was pump him. Then we go to six, and then we take three, we go to three, and then shoot the Teferi twice. That definitely would have been an option. I think our plan was just stick on Basalt Monolith, though. I mean, I'm not sure that would have gotten us out of this, but it would have gotten rid of the Teferi, which would have been reasonable. Sure. Wrath of God, one time. Eh. 
and <laughs> our own Tefri. Okay, well. Caracas bouncing Adeline, Tefri bouncing this guy. That's not terrible. Oh, Hull Breacher. That's interesting. What do you do? Not much, right? What do we got here? One mana, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, essentially nine mana. This guy cannot come down. I think we're playing Jewel and a Hull Breacher. That's my... Okay, well, we're getting somewhere, <laughs> slowly but surely. And now we're gonna pass. Okay, well, I think they're gonna kill our Teferi. Well, we could double block, I guess. Oh, they didn't make a guy with Retrofitter, that's pretty good. That's nice to know. Sahili, that's fine. So you have Adeline and two other cards. Yeah, bouncing Adeline in their combat step would have been fine. Um, for some reason I just wanted to get it off the board so I can better see how things were working uh, the problem with making planeswalker dragons is you only get to keep one because they're legendary No attacks. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. This is very fascinating. Uh huh. They have 25 cards. We have 12 cards, and I don't think we have a great way to shuffle. Astral Dragon to try to take care of their Planeswalkers next turn seems decent, actually. What is... Turns under copies of the target non-creature permanent. So we can actually copy, like, Thran Dynamo. Oh, we could copy Coveted. I don't want to copy Jewel, because if then if, if they attack us and we don't block, then they just get, like, our 3-3 three, three flyers. I think copying Retrofitter Foundry is probably the best. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Yeah, we could go for Jace. My concern is that milling them for two every... I mean, we're definitely going to do that. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> wow, I did not think we were winning this game. All right. I guess we just got the ball rolling.
I definitely like Sky Sovereign here, though I wish it did four. Hitting their Planeswalkers is very relevant. Um... Dude, I feel like I just haven't been able to counter a single spell this entire draft. Either I don't have the mana for it, or they play Teferi, or they daze me. Like, there are a lot where I'm just like, oh, I guess we just win. Because there's situations where I'm like, I did not expect the, the opponent to concede there. Um, uh, Subtlety's good. He's just like instant speed floaty, but floaty boy. I also don't hate seal of removal. I think this is good. We'll just do like this. We'll hope these counter spells come in handy. Crossing our fingers. Um, This sure is interesting. I'm gonna keep this hand. We have two three drops and a four drop. Like, Seed Shark into Karn seems very good. Okay. Talisman. Could have played that turn one, but it's not the blue one, so it's not as good. Um, I like Subtlety here because it's just an instant speed interactive card. Wait, did they miss a land drop? Mm, say what? All right, well, that feels bad. Did they not mulligan unless I miss a land drop? They begins with seven. I don't understand. Why didn't you mulligan? This hand better be very good. Man, Ancient Tomb. What a card, man. The two mana seems really powerful, but the two damage does seem balanced. I don't know. It's a great... What a great design. I mean, you have eight power on board. Oh yeah, we can just actually cap a cannoneer next turn while still attacking with the token. Mm. That was a good draw. Okay. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five mana. We can play Talisman into Cannoneer. Uh, let's go one, two, three. This has like been our best start yet. And Golem. And attack for eight. And then next turn we have a two, two, and a four, four to throw against them. And we can cast Sky Sovereign. Seems good. Uh, 
I do feel like they're gonna need something to get out of this. Oh, they did not have it. Wow, two one, not bad. First round didn't go very well. Next two went decently. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check out all the other, other content that's on this on the channel, and I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.